Okay, we've been talking about systems and uh, interesting idea for you. If you don't understand systems, you are destined to experience the same problems. If you don't understand systems, you're destined to experience the same problems. Why is that? Why is that? Well, that is because problem resolution, problem resolution requires you to understand why you are having problems. How did you get that problem? A problem means that you got something that you didn't want. But how did you get that thing that you didn't want? Why did you get that thing that you didn't want? This is systems thinking. Systems gave you the result that you didn't want. And if you are unaware of what a system is or how it works, then you cannot make changes and you will continue to have that same problem. Now, what's interesting is that it is possible to change things, even if you do not understand them, and get a different result. But your chances of getting the result that you want, eh, less. Now, this could be how you have a consult with a patient. This could be how you do your groceries. I was dealing with this today with my son. Right now, we do not have a defined system for how we order groceries. We go on Woolworths, go online. My wife has a bunch of lists from the past and we go and choose stuff. But I was thinking through this. I was like, ah, there's many problems with this by doing it. We often order things that we don't need and we often miss things that we do need. And this happens every week. Just like I was saying that the problems will continue if you don't understand the system. Now, even if you do understand the system, if you don't make any changes to the system, then you will continue to have problems. And so this type of mentality, this type of thinking is actually required for us in medicine. Why? Because we got a whole bunch of problems. We got lots of problems, lots and lots of problems. And if we don't know how to fix those, we don't know why we're getting those problems in the first place and we don't know how to fix them, then we are destined to continue them. And so you end up being resigned and feeling hopeless and just having to put up with the system. This is a problem. This is a problem. So let's come back to our Woolworths system. And I was thinking about it. I was like, all right, well, if I was going to order groceries for the right meals and in the right quantities, what would have to happen? Well, first of all, I'd need to know what meals I would want for the week ahead, what lunches and what dinners, and then what ingredients went into those. And then I would have a list of things that I could buy. But this does not take into account what I already have. And so I would need to look at what I already have, just like we have in many of the planning experiences. It's like, hey, where am I? Where am I? And I legitimately, you could do that first and go, well, hey, I got a bunch of carrots, I've got three potatoes, and I've got two broccoli. We're out of everything else. But at least you know that you have those things. Then you could even plan the meals that you've got or you want for next week around what you've got. And so even now, as I'm talking this through, I'm like, all right, maybe it's a better thing to have a look at what we got. What have we got? Now, some things will be already noted to be missing and they got written up on our board. So there's, what have I got? What do we know is missing? What do I want to eat for the week ahead? And then coming up with the list of ingredients, going on the Woolworths, ordering them up. Now, what's going to happen? Well, there's a couple of things. One, it will be an accurate list. We'll know what we're cooking and we will have the right amount of things. We will not over order. We will not miss things that we should have had. This is very powerful. This is a very powerful system. Now, is this anywhere documented at the moment? No. The all we've got right now is the list of past things, but that does not tell us what we were trying to cook and it gives us a rough guide, but it's kind of a crapshoot. It has definitely been the case before that we already have an entire bag of carrots and we order another bag of carrots or we had no carrots and we did not order carrots. And this is across many things. A grocery list for a family of five is extensive. There's a lot of variables that go into it. But getting this dialed in suddenly means one thing. 
Okay, we've got to document what we should be doing. Number two, we've got to use that. So it's got to be easy enough to actually be used, which is a major challenge in itself. We have habit change problems, i.e. what's been done for the last three years is probably what's going to continue. There is a momentum with this stuff that has to be implemented and changed. There's got to be buy-in from the people that want to do this or who are assigned to do it, who are given this task. And then there's got to be looking at the results and go, hey, did we get it? Did we get accurate? Here's the plan. There is more work with this. Notice that with this system, there's more work. There's more work looking at what's already there, deciding what we're going to cook, coming up with a new list, ordering it. But there is far more accuracy and it means that we do not have to go to the shop multiple times, which does not sound much. But if you let's say that there's four additional runs to get the things that were missing and each of those runs takes 40 minutes, then that cost is 160 minutes, over two and a half hours per week for one of the parents to go sort out this. And then the question must come, does looking at what we've already got and organizing for the meals so we can order accurately cost us less than two and a half hours? And my guess is it will. Here's another cool thing about systems. Systems documented, guess what? They get better. You learn how to do them like, oh, great, we've got our stock take. We know what recipes work. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're accurate. Now, this is just a brief rundown of a system. Know that this is playing out in every area of healthcare, from the way that the patients book to the way that the patients interact with reception, the way that the patients interact with you, what happened before they consulted with you, what happened in the consult, what's meant to happen afterwards, how are you tracking it. All of these are systems, most of which are not documented, giving you no ability to change, and therefore, you are destined to continue to suffer over and over. What does this mean? Well, you've got to get better at systems. And there are systems for you in life as well, for your body, for your spirituality, for how you run your family, how you run your job as a doctor or your business if you are running a practice. These things have been worked on, worked out. There are systems that work, but we have a lot of work. I'm not going to be able to do this alone. You're not going to be able to do this alone. But as you start to understand why we are getting the results we are getting in life and what to do about it, then a possibility opens up for something different. Hopefully a medical system that works, that is effective, that gets us paid, that gets patients great results, that has us returning to health, to purpose, to a feeling of power in the world, that we are at cause of our world. But while we continue to be blind to the systems that operate day in, day out, then we will continue to sense a feeling of powerlessness and inability to fix what is going on. If you want some help with this, particularly if you are a practice owner and you're like, oh my goodness, if I could just understand a system, then send me an email at drtomacradjotmedicine.com. Let me know where you're struggling, particularly what are the results or the problems that you are experiencing right now. Let me know what you've done already that didn't work and then we can look at what working together looks like. All right, that's all I got for you. I'm going to go grab some Thai. Hopefully their systems are dialed in. I tell you, they are because they can deliver food from phone call to pick up in 20 minutes, day in, day out. It's an amazing system. It works. We can learn from it. All right. That's all I got for you. Look forward to seeing another episode very soon.